O, show them man ako. Mas malaki pa sa face mo yung ano. Hindi. Jaya. Kaya nga na yun. Well, flower na. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So this is Mommy V of Ed V and Aria. And for this vlog, I'll share an experiment I did with my alocasia black velvet to make their leaves go bigger and encourage new growth. I'll also show how I repotted them and what the bulbs look like for our propagation. So if you enjoy videos like this, please subscribe to our channel for more gardening tips. Okay, so let's start! So here's a picture of my black velvet when I bought it last July 2020 and here's a picture I've taken last January 2021 as you can see there's hardly any progress. So the video I showed at the start of this vlog is my mother-in-law's black velvet. They are only a month older than mine and they already have flowers so I know I'm doing something wrong. So I did some research and I will try it and document it for you so I can share if it really works. So the main question we will address on this blog is how to make the leaves bigger and how to encourage new growth, new leaves and new plant. So keep on watching guys! So, para siyang Christmas lang. Ang cute ang bag. Kaledi na yung soil ko. Put it here para wider. Ready to trim it down. Okay, so these are our two new plants that we just repotted. And then I have here my bulbs that I got. So what I'll do is that I'll propagate this one through our propagation box. So releasing ko lang siya and then I'll transfer it. Iwan ko muna siya dyan sa maridin na area for a while. Nalipat ko na siya dyan sa place with the direct sun.
So that's it guys. So learn now this blog that encourage bigger leaves and encourage new growth. First we have to use the perfect soil which is a well draining one. One part soil, one part perlite or coarse potting sand or rice hole and one part peat. So second one is we just simply have to put it in a bigger pot to give it enough space to grow so repot it as it grows. Third is we just need to know what it needs, which is watering it infrequently since it is susceptible to root rot. So let it dry before watering it again and of course lighting. So it needs medium to bright indirect light. Never let it rest in full sun or it will burn the leaves. So that's all for this blog. I'll share propagation tips soon. Enjoy gardening guys and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys. Bye.